when we have possessive phrases like le crayon de Pierre, the pencil of Pierre, we treat those phrases as one grammatical thing. So let's look at how this works. In sentences, we have sentences like le crayon de Pierre est noir. Here, we say est because le crayon, the subject, is a singular first person, singular third person object. That's the, this is the subject. Pierre, okay, I'm reading this. <laughs> when we have when we have possessive phrases like le crayon de Pierre, the pencil of Pierre, we treat these phrases as one grammatical object or unit. Let's see how this works within sentences. If we want to say Pierre's pencil is black, we say le crayon de Pierre est noir. Here we have a which corresponds to le crayon. It's the conjugation of être for the third person singular, the same as for il or elle. We also have noir, which is singular and masculine, because le crayon is masculine. If we have a sentence like les poules d'Anaïs sont grandes, we understand that sont corresponds to les poules. Even though it comes after Anaïs, which is singular, les poules is the subject. And we can treat les poules d'Anaïs as one thing. We then have grande with an ES at the end because les poules d'Anaïs is a plural feminine noun. We also can make sentences like nous voyons un bus de la ville. In this case, un bus de la ville is the object. And we have voyons, which is conjugated for nous, the subject. But this still functions as one thing. We can also say things like ce sont des gens du village. These are people of the city. In this case, because des gens du village is plural, we say ce sont rather than c'est, because this is what we say for plural nouns. C'est tout.